In this video, I'm going to show you how to add text to your design in Canva. To start, you'll be on your design, open up a new design in whatever shape. Then on the left hand side menu, you'll go over to where it says text and click on that. Then it gives you a couple different options of things that you've already used, designs that they've created, and headings, subheadings, and a little bit of text that you can add. Clicking on any of these will immediately add that to your design. To just add a regular text box, you can also press T on your keyboard to insert a text box to your design. This is a shorter, faster way to do it, or you can go over to text, then select either a heading, subheading, or a little bit of body text to get something that is based on the brand kit that you set up for your designs. So here you see I can add a heading, I clicked on that, and then it just adds the heading and the size that I've set up in my brand kit. For this design, however, I wanted it to be bigger. So for that, you can either drag the edges of your text, or you can go up to the top menu where it has all the text options and then change the size there by clicking the plus sign or changing it with the numbers. Whenever you add one of these headings or text, it will go based on the design kit that you've set up. So you can add those fonts, but you can also change them to whatever font you want. You can also use the drop down at the top of the design to change the text. So when you bring up that drop down, it will then populate this lovely list of all the different designs on Canva. If it has a little crayon on the side, that is for Canva Pro users only. Canva Pro is currently only $12.95 a month and it's well worth it if you do a lot of designs, but it also has a ton of different fonts that you can use that are free and you can use them with the free program as well. So you can change the font and then you can adjust the size, then you can put it wherever in the design that you want. So this is kind of what the heading and then a subheading looks like. Then if you are adding any sort of big text body, you will just click add a little bit of text body and then you will get the smaller setup. It is is a little hard to write in the Canva text body. So you'll generally want to just copy over whatever text that you have for your design and then just adjust how it looks but writing it off of Canva tends to be a little bit easier in my opinion. There are so many different ways to format your text in Canva besides just choosing the size and the font that you're using. You can play around with the alignment and have it right or left aligned. You can have it centered. Then you can also do things like adding bullet points and you can adjust the spacing. There is a lot that you can play with. All of these are in the top menu when you have a text box selected in Canva. To change the defaults of your text that shows up, you'll want to adjust your brand kit. To do this, you will go to text and then under where it says brand kit, you can click edit or to do this, you can also go to your settings in Canva to the homepage and go to brand kit there as well. Here you can select the different text styles and sizes for the header, the subheading and the body of text. This means that if you adjust it to be a certain size or a certain font, whenever you click add a heading, it will then populate that automatically so you don't have to adjust the size or the font of the text. This is really, really helpful if you're working on certain projects and you want everything to match. If you are constantly going back and forth, you can create multiple brand kits, but this is a really useful feature in Canva. So definitely play around with the brand kits because it can help you save a ton of time. Then Canva also has a lot of really cute font combinations in different colors and types of fonts that they already have created that you can use in your designs. So when you click text in the side and then you scroll down, you'll see all these different font combinations that you can use to create your own design. So you just click on it, then it automatically populates onto your design and you can adjust the size and change the text to whatever you need for your actual design. I hope this was helpful for adding a text box and adjusting the text in Canva. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.